Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with episode 4 of my Rugby Union Team Manager 3 series as the Bristol Bears. Of course this is season 2 and so far so good. 5 games, 4 wins, our very first loss in the previous episode against Wasps unfortunately. But it was going to come to an end at some point but we're sat in 3rd in the table going well some real strong performances and yeah things are going very very well so before we get into today's episode please do drop a like if you enjoy the content leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this series and is there anything you want to see me improve or change in the team and of course if you haven't already and you want to stay up to date with everything on this channel please do move that subscribe button so here we are today, we will be beginning our Challenge Cup campaign against Aberdeen, but first, a match against Gloucester, who are ninth in the table, they've only won one game so far, so fingers crossed, we could be picking up another win, and we will be wearing our white kit for the first time in ages. The unfortunate news is international duty though, if we go back home you'll see 11 players been called up for international duty so we got Randall, O'Connor, Lloyd, Sinclair, uh, Piers O'Connor, Max Maidens, Chris Vui, Semi Radradra, Ty Furlong, Joe Marchant, Tupau. Unbelievable amount of players missing and if you've seen the first season of this series you will know that was the time when our form sort of went downhill unfortunately. So here we go, we're going to be, be uh, playing a few lesser known players, unfortunately. Um, tight as they know. Gonna have to go with them, boys. How is the fitness of Lua Tua? Still only on 62 fitness, which is strange. I mean, I can't be playing him, can I, really? We're going to have to go with. Andy Urin. Sheedy hasn't been called up, which is good for us, I, I suppose. Inside centre. We'll go with the youngster Whistlecroft, I think, for his first start. The boy we've brought up from the academy this season. Outside centre. Who should we go for? We'll probably go Piers O'Connor, I think. And then at fullback, we're going to go Charles Pietau. So that would be the starting 15. And now just to grab some people to sit on the bench. It's not going to be good. I mean, as far as forwards go, we haven't really got anyone there, have we? So we might have to call up someone from the youth ranks. So let's see what we've got in the academy. Who have we got? So the starting prop there, John Keeling is a 38 rated, a 37 rated. We don't want to disrupt the team too much, are do we? So we'll see what they got on the bench. 34, 36, 35. Well, we've got we to do it, haven't we, unfortunately? So John Keeling, you will be assigned to the main squad. And you will be making your debut appearance on the bench. Um, we got Stephen Lewitua. Who else have we got around here that we can back on the bench? Home choice. We've got Vui's been called up, of course. So we're going to like Joycey, the king of Southmead, onto the bench. Uh, we'll go Dan Thomas as well. And then in the back department. We haven't really got any... We really haven't got any, well we haven't got a backup scrum half at all now. It's unfortunate, Purdy will certainly come on. And, yeah, we're quite weak aren't we with these internationals gone. Eden, so that'll be the team we go for against Gloucester. And let's see how our performance goes. Our injured players in the main squad. So who's injured? 
Oh, Jack O'Donoghue at flanker is injured. So we're going to start Stephen Lewis too, I think. And then we're going to have to replace him on the bench with Jake Keenan. So let's try that again. Link to the main squad. Not again. There are players, on the, in the main, players on international duty in the main squad. Piers O'Connor is on international duty. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I did read that out, so I'm not sure why I've not spotted that, but we, we are incredibly weak here now. All these players out missing in injuries. Yeah, we're going to have to go back to the academy, I believe. We're going to have to bring up... Really, well, we're really going to have to bring up a scrum half, aren't we? So, Kian Levens is going to get called up to the main squad. And then we're going to need some more players in the backs. I mean, Alapati Lehua is there. Oh, yeah, of course, we, we did put a few players for a bit of game time into the uh, academy. So we'll probably call Leo we're up unless we've got oh, Luca Regan, 48. We've got a 50 at outside centre there. So we're going to be calling him up, him up, I believe. He might even get a start at outside centre. So that's two calls up and then we'll just go with a winger. Let's just get Leo back into the team. Right. Some call ups had to be made. We were so thin. Um, yeah, so now we've got a few players, haven't we, that we can bring on. So we'll bring on that outside centre, which was Robert Norman. And then we'll put Leo on the bench as well. So there we go, hopefully we're allowed to go to the match now, we are. So a makeshift Bears team up against Gloucester. We've only won one match up this season so far, so hopefully, let's see how we get on against them. First time I believe with the white away kit in this series, so that'll be nice. The one that I've modded into the game myself. Not the greatest job, but does the business. Here we go, Gloucester to start with possession. We've turned it over, which is good, a good sign. Um, 38 minutes, we will kick for goal. Sheedy, who's absolutely shanked it. Shido, what are you playing at, son? Gloucester have turned it over now. They've won a penalty. Gloucester have got a yellow card, so Let's make this count. See what we can do. See if we can get a line break going. Just moving it around, not really doing too much at the minute. Simbin is over, unfortunately, but we have won a penalty, so we'll make our way up the field. Just past halfway. And they've got another yellow card, so we've got to be making it count now. Unfortunately, Gloucester have won the ball back. I'm not sure why we've gone for an up and under there. It is a bit frustrating sometimes. Charlie Chapman bursting clear. And Gloucester have the first score of the game. The Simbin's done. So they're back to full strength. They've won another penalty. This weakened Bristol Bears team. What can you do? Have you got some bottle, boys? Can we get ourselves some points before half time? We cannot. Gloucester have won the penalty and kicked over for three. So we are 10 points to zero down. And we've had a man put in the sim bin, Stephen Luatua. He's come back on the pitch now, but see what we can do. Go on, boys. There we go. Urim with the first try of the game for us. Sheedy converts. Let's keep with the momentum, see what we can do. Uh, Gloucester have won it back. Time for a substitution. They've made a line break as well. Oh, Max Lahif on there. 
Jake Walmore will come off for John Keeling as well. Stephen Luatua is really struggling. So Dan Thomas is going to come on. He's on 46. Anyone else terrible? The Largo. So we go Leua then. And I want to give the youngster Norman a go outside centre. So that'll do for now. See what we can do. Can we hold strong here defensively? We can't. Lloyd Evans has gone over for Gloucester. And that has put them in a commanding position with only 20 minutes or so left. Real trouble for us. Who's up and unders? Why are we doing it? Do I need to change Sheedy's... Um, I think he's set up his playmaker at the minute. Is Gloucester going for another one? They've absolutely smashed us to smithereens here. I think I need to change Sheedy from a playmaker to something else, perhaps. Is Gloucester Willie Hines? What is happening here, boys? I know we're weakened, but... This is not a good sign if this is how we're performing without our international boys. It really isn't. This is an absolute spanking from Gloucester. There we go, full time match over with, thank God. Lloyd Evans for Gloucester was man of the match, but there was some terrible, terrible performances by us. I don't want to dwell on it really. Let's get out of here and move on. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Lua Tour has been banned for 16 days, high tackle. Now we move on from the Premiership to the Challenge Cup. So hopefully a good bit of well, a good bit of time now for the boys to get the second string to get accustomed and get themselves back into some form. If that's how we're gonna play without the internationals then we are in trouble. We really are. So that is now, what are we, six games, four wins, two losses, I believe. I'll have a look once this processing is finished. Yeah, disappointing result there against Gloucester. I was expecting a win there. They had only won one match all season. But the, the squad, unfortunately, it made a difference, didn't it? It really did. Tiff Eden suffered an injury out for a week. Um, so yeah, we've dropped from second or third to seventh, just like that in the league. So that is not ideal. We're going to have to find a way of getting some victories during the international period. Because it's not gone swimmingly so far. There are some highly rated players in the, in the academy, so... Maybe if I bring a few of them up, because a few of our first team forwards don't seem to be able to cut it, unfortunately. Whether chucking youngsters in at the deep end is the way to go, though, I do not know. Trial by fire, is it what they say? Throw them in, see how they get on. Could turn into a diamond. Transfer bid. Declined. Jan Thomas injured. So we've got three players injured, two players banned, 11 on international duty. Ready for a trip to Aberdeen. Yeah, here we go, moment of truth. So Jan Thomas is injured. So we'll be bringing on Keeling. He's rated 38, Pete Warmer 39, Brian Byrne. Yeah, we're just going to keep it the same, I think. No one else there in major trouble. I think outside centre, I'm going to give that Norman a go. And put Purdy on the bench. Seems an interesting talent as old Norman. Should we have a look at the academy while we're here as well? 37... 45, John Hawkins. 45, Brandon Ramshaw. So, I mean, these players are 
All right, Anthony. We're gonna call up Hawkins. We're gonna get him in the squad. Gone too far there. Team selection. Oh God, we're on the academy now. Uh, so we'll bring. Where is he? Where are you, Hawkins? Did we bring him up or not? It's not there. Mystery of the disappearing Hawkins. There he is. I mean, he's really a lock or a flanker, but for the academy, he's playing a prop. Unbelievable. We'll bring up... He's another lock who's... Yeah, I'm looking at the wrong ones, that's why. Craig Newman, 37. Have to bring up Knappman. Sign to the main squad. I'm going to be bringing Knappman on to the bench. Right, is that it? Should we get over to it? Begin match. I think for this one against Aberdeen, we're going to go back to the 2D match and just see how we get on with it. We did it for a pre-season friendly, just something a bit different. I mean, we sh should hopefully be beating Aberdeen, so we'll go fastest and we'll see how we get on. Already a penalty for Bristol and they've had a red card, so I mean, this should be an absolute hammering, you would think. You would hope. How many minutes away? 42. Let's keep in touch. We've got a man advantage, haven't we? So let's put them under some pressure. There we go. Try for Bristol, unconverted, unfortunately. Aberdeen with some good possession here for a team with a man less. We've kicked back up to halfway line now. 44 metres again, we'll kick for touch. A couple of early scores, hopefully. There we go, there's another one, Charles Piertel. Try converted. More penalties, so we're winning plenty of penalties. Keeping possession. And looking generally quite good. It's only Aberdeen. Andy Urim with the score, so that's three tries before half time. So we'll make some subs now. Everything seems pretty. pretty good, doesn't it? Not sure what's going on here. I've messed it up again. Let's pause it. Make the subs, please. Healing for the Heath. Make sub. Thacker, burn. Oh, what have we done here? Healing at flanker for Luatua. Joycey for Atwood. Thomas for Earl. Purdy for. Largo, Leua for Whistlecroft. There we go. Let's get to it. Let's wrap this match up. There we go. Another try for us. Didn't see who scored that one, unfortunately, but things are looking good. There's another one by the looks of it. So an absolute mauling for Aberdeen. Hopefully, this gives our second string boys some confidence after that pasting we took against Gloucester. Yeah, coming up to about five minutes left. Successful run out in the Challenge Cup. Could we have a decent run of it this year in the Challenge Cup? I really would like to make a push for at least the Champions Cup, a top, fin top six finish perhaps would be nice this season. But there we go, Nathan Hughes, man of the match. Nothing really to shout home about. Wasn't really a massive test, was it? Comfortable victory. They had a man sent off, so... Anything other than a win there would have been disappointing. Away win for Mark Tayton. And we will wrap up that episode here, everybody. So thanks a lot for watching. Please do drop a like if you enjoy this series and you continue to watch it. I really do appreciate it. It helps more people discover these videos. 
when the likes are right up there so much appreciated leave a comment down below i get back to all of them of course as well if you do have this game and you're on steam please do give it a rating so it makes the developers aware that there are there is a market out there and perhaps they'll get to work on rugby union team manager 4 hopefully um, if you haven't already please do more that subscribe button and i'll see you in the virtual scrum.